The switch to open the gate is in the kitchen. It says right there. Let me close this slowly. <sighs> you would have seen that, but he does not care. Look at this man. He's so stupid. I love it. She's back behind the door. Oh, man. <laughs> Man, if I get out of this, this will be amazing. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back once again to some more Thief Simulator. It is that game series where we're still trying to climb the ranks to become the top thief in the lands, okay? There's your marking. This is where we are. We're that close. If you guys actually didn't see the last episode, first of all, head on back. However, if you're still here, um, I guess I'll explain what we did. We finally entered a brand new neighborhood, and this one, guys, is where the money is being stored, okay? We've got houses that have got antiques, they've got, like, safes with jewelry in, they just leave jewelry on the top, so they all leave jewelry on their front garden lawns. Basically, this is the neighborhood where the money is about to be made, and I think also we're kind of closing in on the end of the game, so a lot of cool stuff happening. Now, as of recording this video, I just want to say again, guys, the last episode got 11,500 likes. Like, we are six parts in the series and we're still getting like 10k likes every episode it's amazing so i'm not trying to hint anything but uh come on guys you kind of know what to do for the next episode sooner you know so welcome back anyway guys to thief simulator uh, now we're starting back at the pawn shop and i'm trying to think why the freak i'm here and not back at home to be honest my character was probably marveling at the van in his free time you know i do get it this thing looks sleek as freak and yes baby you will still be mine in due time we also got this man still eaves dropping like look at this guy so the current objectives that we actually have guys is to go ahead and plant a micro camera in the living room of 206 Bruh. i have no idea what these people's time table is, so let's go ahead and find out. Ah, feels good to be in a brand new neighborhood, you know, all these people with their riches, and by the way, get the freak off the zebra crossing, I ain't waving nobody. We are looking for house 206, which is just around the corner here, and this is actually a place we've not been to yet, so this is gonna be new. Okay, let me just go ahead and uh, park here. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty good. There you go. Nice. Okay, we're gonna exit the car and shut the door, because uh, you yes. don't kind of care about the condition of this thing. Okay, so we did buy some of the hints. There was a pricey clock in the garage. Uh, there's one more over here. There is an antique big pot in the corridor, okay? I've got that antique pot, guys. Break or steal the lioness painting and then there's another marking over there which is where we have to go ahead and plant the camera okay well flashlight on let's do a little bit of scouting shutters are down not a good start now one of the faults i always have with this new neighborhood as well do they have any cameras because i need to mark those before i try anything almost everyone does around here so i can plant one of the micro cameras in the mailbox but nope. that ain't it chief that ain't what i'm gonna do by the way how's it going uh but you stand and stare at me i'll stare at you by the way i'm either really tall or this lady's really small you know one of the two hold up let me see this again no wonder they stop and stare i think i'm like an eight foot giant or something okay one camera right there <sighs> covering a big surface area i'm gonna go ahead and pick this lock whilst i got the time okay it's gonna pop open we can at least look what's inside the camera moves as well bro come on okay go ahead and scan back now i'm gonna leave that open simply slip behind here but as i do this guys there is more cameras quite clearly so go ahead and mark them see i think they're gonna have about three or four cameras total and i also gotta be wary of people on the neighborhood front so let's just keep going because this is going fine so far okay don't see any more cameras at all in fact hmm let's go ahead and check out the front door Bro, are you kidding the freak. um that's a tent there's a freaking tent i gotta go how the heck did they not see me that was the sketchiest thing I've ever done, and I love it. Okay, now this may seem counterproductive, but what I'm actually gonna now do, guys, is break back out of this place, drive off, and then I guess try and do this thing again. Because if you fail, you then forget the tenant's routine. So by doing this, at least I can keep my progress so far. But guys, maybe cheese, I don't care. I wanna make progress as quick as I can. All right, let's get the freak back out of here anyway, boy. Looking good the way I'm driving. Yeah, my car's busted up. Okay, same thing again, nice. Let me just check around the house again. Let me see if the shutters are actually lifted or something. Yeah, they're still down. Interesting. So you got to wait for a time when they're both out. Hmm. Maybe parking the car in the uh, parking lot over there might be the best bet because then I can sleep. Okay. Either way, we're going to sneak back in. So they're both in. It's now 6 a.m. One of them is awake. The other one is Be careful with people on the street as well. So go on by, you freaking dingus. All right, I'm going to make a break for it as you do. Okay. So where are the tenants at? Like, I can't see them through the wall or anything. That's interesting. In fact, let me observe around the house. See if maybe the shutters have lifted this time. Here we go. I think there's a window just around this corner here. Hi. Where the freak are all the windows? These people vampires? Hey right, man, those shutters are still unlocked, bro. They can hear me creeping about. They can kind of see through the shutters as well. What the freak you guys doing? Okay, so they're both sleeping at the hour of 6.45. Or at least one of them's trying to sleep and the other one is restless. Okay, let me run to the front door a second. We can break into this. And it's a fairly easy thing as well, okay? All we gotta do then is make a straight line here. And we are already in that freaking house, dude. Let's get going. Probably should get used to opening things slowly as well, you know? Could be a downfall real quick. So I gotta plant a micro camera in their living room. And also yes! this vase is about to be in my back pocket, okay? So here's the living room by the looks of things. Where does the camera need to be planted within here, okay? Could be anywhere. Oh, right here, okay. So go ahead and do that. That's done. Request is now done. 2K for that one. Nice, thank you very much. Look at the bathtub. They- ah! 
where you should not look at a bathtub when burgling in the neighborhood. Well, this is about to get real awkward, guys. I gotta run real quick and try and hide, so I'll be right back. Okay, now if I go ahead and run into the distance here, maybe we've got somewhat of a chance. In fact, I could just simply run out here and then I'm good, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, nice. So that's done. Story gets some sleep. I guess I'll do that. Then I can always go back to the house and steal the rest of the stuff. You know, I'm not feeling too tired. I'll just sleep the hour and now I'm all good, okay? Yo, Vinny, what's going on, man? Hey, it's time to get our camp. Okay. Go fetch it and bring it in. Okay. It's just the thing we need to wrap this up. Got it, man. Uh, kind of awkward still. I don't know why they want the camera. Kind of disturbing me. So I'm gonna go still at this time here because I need to try and figure out their 24-hour routine anyway. I know they're sleeping between the hours of about 6 and 7, so not much time. But there's gotta be like a 2 or 3-hour slot where maybe they're both out or like one's asleep and the other one is actually out. That's a criminal, okay? I got a thing like this, alright? Okay, there's absolutely no one around here at the moment. Let's go ahead and pick the lock. Then I can still try and figure out the uh, tenant's routines because currently it's unknown. Ooh, one thing worth noting is that at this time the shutters are completely lifted up. So it's now about... 9. I would say about 9 a.m. then they lift the shutters. Interesting. Okay, let me go ahead and zoom around here real quick. Try and find these tenants. So there's one there. What? They look like they're kind of leaving somewhere. Hold up. Okay, maybe not. What the freak are those people doing right now? Hello? I don't even see them. Hold up. I can't Wait, what is going on? This is tripping me out, dude. I don't want to break in this place and then get caught. Maybe the fact that I can't see them indicates that they're both- Okay, there's one there. So, wait, mark the tenant. Mark the tenant. There you go. So tenant routine discovered. They're still in at this time. Gosh, when do I get my break then? Because the thing is right now, they're both awake as well. So we've discovered about half of their routine set. Now it's just figuring out the rest. If anything, now as well, it's uh, probably the worst time to try and do anything because they're very, very impatient. And again, guys, when is there a good time to steal my goods? Okay, I need them. Yeah, they look very scared, by the way. Guys, simple enough, we did bad, okay? I'm gonna hand myself in. Take me, right? Yep, hands up in the air. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Glass cut sensor in brackets. That's how they were able to understand when the window was, I guess, broken into. So these people seriously have it on lockdown. The only way through is basically the front door. Okay, that sucks. Let me try and mark the tenants again, though. I need to do this. Okay, there's one, so go ahead and mark him. Now we've got that routine up to this point again. <sighs> when are these people gonna leave, though? I'm getting sick of this. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and leave, then. What can I do? I guess other than sleep, not a whole lot. Not sure I'm down for the challenge, to be honest. I just want to steal stuff and get done. So definitely for this one then, going and sleeping in the parking lot between stuff is going to be crucial. I think I'll sleep around about four hours and then we'll come straight back to the house. Okay, let's make it about 4 p.m., shall we say. This seems good. Okay, we're back in, boys. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so we know they're in right there. That's kind of, I guess, a little way we can figure this out by slightly walking. They're in what appears to be maybe like a side living quarters or something. Okay, so we can mark this dude again. So we figured out even more of their routine. Bro, this sucks so bad. Look how much they're in the house. It's crazy. You know, I almost believe that the first time I came to the house was probably the best time. Maybe we should come like a tiny bit earlier because the female was, I think, patrolling somewhat. Okay, I managed to mark them one more time so we know their complete routine. There's always at least one person in the house, which is the problem. So, uh, look, guys, I don't know what the best time to do this is. Maybe about 9 o'clock at night or something. By the way, can we just honor the way this man sleeps in his car, all right? There is no person in the world who is able to chill to this extent whilst they know what's going on in their head. They may end up like running into a tenant, but it don't matter for this man, okay? All that matters right now is the sleep this man's about to get and the quality of it so he can think rationally when doing the burglary. And with that said, this dude is about to snooze until 9 p.m., so let's do it. All right, I guess now is the time, guys. We're going to take the car with us because I think we have to carry out the huge vase, so let's go ahead and do this. We're going to park just around the corner here. So I don't think the tenant is out yet, but they will be very soon. Let me just see. All right, so maybe about 10 p.m. is when they leave. So I've got time to get into position. Okay, keep it on the low. This could be the one where we get everything done, okay? This man right here as well has got to go to sleep, else I've got no chance at all. It's actually the female. I can't tell when they're sitting down. <laughs> Come on, do your thing, whatever that may be. Hurry up! Man, you know that joke I always say about crowbar to the skull? I'm actually debating doing that. Would that not be like the simple thing to do at this minute in time? <sighs> These people are annoying. Okay, maybe it was 11 o'clock when they leave. Let me see. Yeah. So now is when she leaves, and we have about a three-hour gap. But my man is just sat in the living room. For goodness sake, come on. Okay, so she's uh, taking the long way around, even though she could literally walk that way and go out of her front garden. Why has she got to be extra? Like, that's the way I sneak in. What are you doing? Hey, hold up, what? Oh, I see. She walked through the gate. I'm not going to question it. This is taking way too long, man. I feel like I'm just going to steal some stuff and get the heck back out. Flashlight on. Ooh, they got the antique clock on fully. Gotta take it. What else they got? 
Loads of empty paint cans. Probably like a $2 chair there, so I'm out. Ooh, I got time to crack a safe as well. Look, whilst we're waiting, let's go ahead and do it. See if I still got the cracking stuff in me, okay? Let's go backwards. Dude, this is a lucky one, okay? Then we just hold the other side. Look at that efficiency, though. I'm just saying. Guys, you can make this up even if you wanted to, okay? 50, 300, 450, 600. Oh, man, a silver gold watch, silver watch, and then also emerald bracelet. <laughs> okay, he's still watching TV. This is ridiculous. Okay, let me just search some of the drawers a second. He's not hearing that. So cool. 50 in there again. So we're making some profit. If I go around the corner, though, he'll see me while in. Oh, man, there's a metronome there. Because we don't want that. Anything in these top drawers here. Let me see. Another $15, and we're going to take the antique part. Let's get out of here with this stuff. Then we can always come back after. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. So I think you got to wait for that one to sweep all the way by. Then we can go. Okay, let's do this. Now's the time. As for the micro camera, though, about 6 a.m. I think was the sweet spot. So I think I'll take this stuff. Then I'll go ahead and go to the uh, welcome back guy, and then I'll make my way back here after, and then we should be all good. Also decided, guys, I'm gonna take the route on foot. Okay, so uh, <laughs> can we just take a second as well to imagine how ridiculous this guy must look? Um, it's 2 a.m. He's got like a four foot vase. He's probably carrying it like this as well. Nonetheless, though, guys, we did it. So let's do this. We see what rank I got. Look at that EXP. I got a B for basically nothing. I'll take it. Oh my gosh, level 22 straight away. Look at that. Let me just go ahead and shut your mouth. I mean, not worth that much, so uh, okay, I'm gonna back out the heck. Okay, I'm actually gonna come home for a second, because usually this is where the money's made. Let's see how much the antique clock is worth. From Black Bay, we'll go into the antiques. So, 3,200 for that, yes. What? I, I took that with me. What the heck? So, if you steal the item, but it's not in the car, it doesn't count? That's kind of bullcrap. Yeah, I guess I'll go through this stuff just to double check. Uh, don't think we have anything, cows. Okay. Okay, the watches, though. Man, I'm making that dollar. How much I got right now? 24,000. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and dismember this thing though, guys. And we're done. Yep, there you go. Tell anyone I'll break your face. And we are finally back now, guys, at 206. Now, the lady comes back very, very shortly. And I think there's around about a two to three hour time slot in between where we can basically do what we need to do. And I guess if the vase is there as well, we can go and retrieve that. Uh -huh. So there she is, she's back. Hurry up, you freaking dingus. Leaves the question though, okay? What you been doing at this hour? You leave your man asleep in bed and then come back at four in the morning. Okay, I'm gonna hack the door ahead of time. So, what are you doing in the kitchen, you know? I thought you went to bed last time. Let me open this slowly. Is the vase still- Okay, so the vase just respawned there, thank goodness. Close the door slowly one more time. You gotta go to sleep. I need that camera, stop doing your flexes. Why, why is my man up? He wasn't up last time, was he? Ah, this is just getting ridiculous. Okay, so he's going for the toilet. Maybe he'll go back to bed after or something? I have no idea. So what is he even doing? <laughs> kind of like puts his hand in front and then- I think he's going back. The door slowly. Gotta be efficient right now. It does say bedroom in the top right, so yeah, this is our chance, this is it. Take only what we need, okay? So I need that, definitely. The whole point of this mission here is to not be caught, so if I'm nice and quick right now, we shouldn't get caught. I just gotta really, really be efficient. Probably should've closed all of the drawers and, uh, I guess- oh, crap, someone sees me. God, this sucks, this sucks, I can't hide! Come on, man! Okay, guys, I run up to the hilltop here, they can't see me, but they're both patrolling? Um, okay, they're kind of playing like bumper cars, I don't understand. Both cars have stopped, can they see me? Freeze! Where did he come from? Dude, this is sketchy as heck. Why am I doing this? Look, guys, I don't care, okay? YOLO or whatever they say. Place that there. Hold up. Close the door. How'd I just get away with that? That was insane. I'm over this. Let's just get this done. Okay, I'm out of the house with the vase, so I'm gonna place this here. I didn't get caught, though, whatsoever. Okay, go ahead. Pull up here. This can go in the back. There you go. Barely fits, but who cares? Okay, that was intense. I'm so glad that's done. On Black Bay, then, if we go in the antiques, 4K for the antique pot. Why not? And then we had to send something as well in the Black Bay. How do we do this? In the electronics, perhaps? So the micro camera with recording, we'll do it at 570. Vinny's gonna call us. What's poppin', bro? How's it going? If you want a good car, Okay. You gotta disable the alarm. Sure. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Story, learn car stealing level two. Let me see, how many skill points do I got? Uh, I got four. So, this one here. Uh, we can actually do that already, so let's go ahead and learn it. There's so. a car on 201, mm -hmm. and it's got something inside that belongs to us. Right. Go bring it in. Tutorial, removing a car alarm. Some cars with a standard lock need to have their alarm removed before stealing them. To do this, remove the alarm's power supply by lying down in front of the car. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to figure this out, guys. It's probably gonna go real bad, though. 201 is gonna be the objective. Let's get this done. Right, so this place right here. Quite familiar with this one. Okay, let's get this started then. Push the gate open. I think the other tenant leaves soon-ish. You stop judging me for crouching in a weird place. I'll crouch where I want, okay? God, these people, seriously. So they'll be leaving at about 7 p.m. All I've got to simply do then, guys, is wait a little bit of time, and then we can get everything underway. Okay, she is now starting to leave, so now we start to enter, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Okay, X cube controllers. Look, we need to start taking more valuable things. I want more money, all right? Simple as. Ooh, what is this? We got the U pad pad tab. Um, really? When you desperately want to include something but don't want to get copyright infringement. Oh, we know this game. Ooh, bass guitar, nice. I'll take that one as well. Okay, so we're now going to get to the objective then. It is stealing this thing here, and we know it has an alarm toward the front. So interact, here we go. Crouching underneath it. So what I gotta do, simply press within there. That's the second one. That is like the easiest thing ever. Okay, I mean, no one's in, so all we gotta do is this thing here, which is nice and quiet. Ain't nobody gonna hear this. Okay, that's done. So, uh, cool. Pop this bad boy open. Now, the one thing I gotta figure out is the gate at the front. How do we open that up? Is there like a switch for it that we press? Maybe. Hey, what's this here? No. How do we open this? There's gotta be a way. Wait, wait, wait. I think I remember. Over here, I think. Come on, it's one of these two things, right? Guys, I can't remember. Okay, we're gonna disconnect that. Uh, we're gonna disconnect this one as well, and then the blue one. So that's that dealt with, I guess. Now I'm gonna also get this thing done just to be, uh, on the safe side. I don't know. Slightly panicking, guys, gonna be honest. Okay, that's done too. I really hope that's enough. I have no idea, though. Oh, man, one of the people are coming back. They're gonna catch me. The gate thing still isn't open. How do I open that thing? Let me just go ahead and start the carrot. Let me see if I can get things working. Gotta do the hot wine thing. Uh, the thing that I really don't understand. So we'll just do this until it works. And, um, th there you go. If I drive... Why is it not open? What do I gotta do? I love how this man questions nothing about all the doors open. He would have seen the garage door open too, but still, no questions. We gotta find a special switch though. I'm probably gonna get caught in the process here. Okay, my man's going in the kid's bedroom. I thought he was about to catch me out. Okay. Well, they got ghosts, so close the door nice and slowly. Oh boy. Oh boy, the sketch factor is so real right now. <laughs> this sucks. The switch to open the gate is in the kitchen. It says right there. Gosh, I completely missed that. You close this slowly. You would have seen that, but he does not care. Look at this man, he's so stupid. I love it. Right, she's back behind the door. Oh, man. <laughs> this is insane. This is actually insane. Okay, there's a switch here. Let me see. That's a light switch. Where is it? I can't see it. Man, if I get out of this, this will be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, I got it. Oh, my God. I can't believe this is working. This is actually crazy. On the low, on the low. Dude is in the garage. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna hide in the kid's bedroom and then sneak past him. This is insane. Close that nice and slowly. Come on, let's go! I guess I could pop open the window and then escape and then go around. This is amazing. I'm in love so far. So go ahead and climb out. Dude, we're making this. I can't believe I'm making this play. This is insane. Okay, I have no track of their routine at this point, though. This is where things can get super sketchy. Oh, man. Don't be there. My man is in there. Like, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's go. Start the car. I gotta do this again. It was... Okay, that one, and maybe like, I don't know, this one here? Um, <laughs> holy crap, man. I can't believe I just did that. It says detected, but I'm out. That was insane. The best seeking mission I've done hands down. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. What the heck? I can't believe I got away with that thing. I got the S rank? Yeah, no crap. Oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. Security, you have to yeah. think outside of the box. Okay, agility level four. <laughs> and learn how to climb pipes. Okay, Vinny, let's do it. Okay, agility level 4 is right there. Required level 23. We are 23, though, so what's the catch? The catch is we don't have level 3, so hit that one, then hit that one. Okay, and we're good. Going on, man. Best cars have electronic locks. Okay. You're gonna have to learn a new trick. Car stealing level 3, the dude says. And again, we can simply do it. We're good. Okay, call us again, I guess. V Vinny? Vinny? Why the car key signal cloner? Let's go ahead and check Black Bay. 28k, the second most expensive thing we need. Okay, so we buy that. Vinny calling us straight after again. What's good, man? We want you to send a message to Mr. Torres. Okay. Get me his car. He always got the key on him, so mm -hmm. you need to steal its signal. How do we do that? This tool will copy the electronic key signal, get close to a car key, and press the button. If done correctly, it will automatically open a locked car. Okay. Okay then, guys. Well, for this episode, I think I'm going to leave it here because in the end, we managed to get a lot more done than I thought we would. And I feel like still we're closing in on the end. I think the max level is like 27, so we're kind of close there, and we basically know all of the skills to become in that top thief. So, like, come on right now, you know? 205 is going to be how we start the next episode. We want to try and steal their car by cloning the key. I think that's going to be difficult, but that's kind of the point, you know? It's a progression ladder, and we've got to get the more difficult stuff done. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.